Lady of a thousand veils. Lady of a thousand veils. I am the holy grail. Peace and love. This is Spike and a Mother Star. And this is a pick a card reading for the men. Feel free to text 1877-51-SPIKA if you would like your own reading and more in-depth reading. And this is a reading regarding the type of woman that you are attracting into your life or have attracted into your life. And I'm about to get into pick a card number one. All right, this is a very flirtatious little reading. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, all right, y'all. No, I'm just playing. All right, so we about to get into a pick a card reading. This pick a card reading is going to be to my League of Extraordinary Men, and we're going to be discussing the type of woman that you are going to be attracting into your life or the type of woman that you're into. Okay, so I'm going uh, to get right to it. Pile one. Let's see what type of woman you're about to attract in. Let's see. What is the sexual nature of this woman? All right. So... This is somebody that you bumped into in your travels. You know what I'm saying? And this woman caught, she catches your eye or she's caught your eye. Okay. You find her to be beautiful. Um, she didn't really notice you so that when you reached out to her, she like, oh, who me? You talking to me? All right. She is somebody who got a lot of options. You're not going to be the only man that is into her. She's very well sought after. Um, she she got beautiful breasts. I think you seen her breasts and was attracted to it. Kind of weird because I was just playing with mine in the beginning of the you know, video. Oh, this woman, she got many lovers. All right. She she loves love. She's beautiful. She got uh many options on the table. She has beautiful breasts, beautiful feet, because I think if you're probably a footman. All right. A very um woman sensitive to your needs and what you're looking for. I feel like she's someone that you keep trying to offer something to, but she's really not paying you attention because it seemed like when she caught your eye, she didn't notice you. She kind of got like a fiery spirit. Like she don't have a problem with fighting. Um, I feel like you're always either watching her social media or, you know, stalking her, going past her home, her job. Um, trying to read her text messages. She's very mysterious as well. Um, I don't think she lets you know all things. She's very mysterious and very, she got a lot of sexual energy. She's a fucking entrepreneur. She makes her own money. She's a boss. Like that's the type of energy she has. And again, she has a lot of options to choose from when it comes to lovers and she does have children. Okay. Let's see what else they're talking about. This woman practices witchcraft. And you know what? That's funny because I could see that with this particular card here. Very mysterious. She could be spiritual. She practices witchcraft. The type of woman you're attracted to is a witch. She can fight. I told you. She can fight. She, she can box. This woman can fight. And she's a tall girl. Someone who's tall. All right. So that's the type of woman that you're going to be attracting or that you have you you are uh, attracted to yourself for power one. Okay, pile two for the gentleman's item. Right, I'm going to bounce them this time. All right, y'all pick pile two. We're going we gonna to bounce these mugs. All right, little, this ain't no PG reading. 
All right, so all right, check this out. For pile number two, for the men, the type of woman that you're you're going to be attracting or that you're attracted to. Let's see what her sex appeal is like. <clears throat> all right. This woman, she liked the close intimacy and talking. She kind of stuck up. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's always making you feel like either you're not doing something good enough or you're always apologizing to her. You're always explaining yourself to her. Okay? Obviously, she demands more. She got her hand out for money. Okay? You're going to have to pay her. She want money. You know what I'm saying? Say she likes to keep herself looking beautiful. She likes jewelry. And she likes to go out to eat. She's a very impatient woman, okay? She don't tolerate a lot of your shit. So the woman, she's not going to take too much of your crap. She is single. She's looking for romance. I would tell you to send her a message of romance because she's open to that right now. She has a very strong character. She's very patient. And I feel like if you're looking for somebody to satisfy you sexually, she definitely had that ability, Bro, I'm going to be real with you. She want money. I mean, she has a temper. She got a short temper too, but she wants money. She wants money. I, I know I've seen that somewhere else in here. Look, that woman want money. So you're going to have to have your money up if you want to deal with her because, you know, and she will do, uh, what is it called? Pay for play or pay for play, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, so that is, you know, the type of woman <laughs> that you're going to be attracting, so be prepared to have your money up, I feel like this woman, she's short, a short woman, um, is saying that she's like a midwife or doula, meaning she probably studies you know, midwifery. She knows how to fix things. I got mechanic. So she knows how to fix things. So like say her car breaks down, she's not going to wait around for no man to fix it. She know how to fix her own car. She know how to spackle and paint. She know how to fix holes in the wall. She's a handy woman at that. And I think she wants to go to school for the nurse in the nursing field, something in the nursing field. Okay. And that is the woman that you're going to be attracting or that you are attracting into your life. And now we're going to go to pile number three. Okay, pile number three. What type of woman will you be attracting or that's coming into your life? We're about to look at the sexual nature of this woman. I feel like this woman has a big booty. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you like to do toss and salad. Like you, you're obsessed with her behind. Um, I also see, I think she's in a family situation with a man, but she don't care if that man go out and do whatever because she's kind of kind of tired of him. And I can see she's a very sexy woman. Um... She's also if a heartbreaker. If the dude she was living with or she got a family with knew that she was, um, you know, creeping behind his back, she'd be very upset. Now, this could be your woman or this could be the woman that you are attracting. Like she got a family at home or this is could be your own woman. You would be very shocked to know that she was creeping behind your back. However, it looks like she's not going anywhere. I think that um, she wants to be free. She wants to be free from this relationship because, like, the man at home is not really paying her any mind. So it's kind of like you coming in as, like, a perfect side dude. Okay? I feel like she is not from this country. You know, like, she could be something else from overseas or Puerto Rican. She's not... Uh, American, like she's overseas or something. Okay, let's let me see some. 
clarification on his transformation. Mm, okay, I feel like this woman has the ability to transform your life or things is going to change in a way where you better be careful because I see children involved. Like you might get her pregnant and so you got to be careful because she might be in a situation where she don't know if you're the father or if the man at home is the father. I definitely see family like she gets pregnant and there's a paternity issue. Clarification on this. So if you really, really wanted a relationship with this woman, I feel like you can get it. Okay. This woman doesn't like to work outside the home. She works inside the home or, you know, she's a home. She's like a house woman. She does work from the home. She's not happy. She's very sad and depressed. So hopefully when you come in her life, you can make her feel more better. Or if this is your woman and you creep behind her back, you you know, the woman that you have at home is not happy. Like, and how do you feel comfortable with this woman taking care of the home like this, but you're not satisfying her? You meeting up with other women behind her back. I see a breakup coming because you're not really valuing this woman the way she deserves. You're pushing her to deal with other men on the side. And this is what I see for this relationship. She's, she ain't happy here. I see something about barbershop. So you could be working in a barbershop or maybe she takes one of your sons to the barbershop to get their hair cut. She wears glasses or contact lenses and she also likes to work out or maybe you've been telling her she's fat and you know, she feel like she need to lose some weight or whatever the case may be. All right. But, and she could even be a barber, you know, maybe she know how to cut men's hair or I see something about the barbershop coming up. Maybe she works from home cutting people's hair or maybe you work at the barbershop, but this is the type of, um, this is what's going on with the woman in your life or one that's coming into your life. Okay. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out Bloody Mary Music in the About Me section. Follow me on social media at Spike of the Mother Star. And thank you for tuning in to your pick a car reading. Peace and love. Abracadabra like magic, raise the dead out the caskets, send them offers in a basket. Abracadabra like magic, words of power can be tragic, words of power can be tragic. This one here is a classic, this one is a classic. Call him Maria, switch up the flow, let me call a soul.